I grew up in a home with a mother who no matter what the holiday or the season, she would decorate her front door to celebrate it. So I am forever trying to come up with new and interesting ways to create a wreath. I love a big, thick rope. So I got myself some at my local uh, building supply store. And I just want to kind of eyeball it and kind of roll it into a big rope wreath. So I am going to play with this a little bit. I think I want it about that, maybe just a tad bit bigger. And I want to start my wreath by taking the loose end and kind of tying it off into a big, giant knot. When I've used up about two-thirds of my rope, it's time to tie another knot in it. And I'm not going to keep the knots all on one side. I'm going to do a couple of them on kind of opposite each other, on the top, on the bottom. There we go. Now to keep it even more secure, I've got some great brass wire here. Now you could also get copper wire or plain metal wire, but I kind of like the bright shininess and festiveness of the brass looking wire. And I'm just going to take it and really simply twist it around and kind of bury the edges in the seams of the rope. And sometimes where I'm going to attach that wire, I might not pick up all the rope strands because, like I said, I want some of it to kind of look like it's going outside the loop of the wreath. Now, at this point, I have a really nice base for any kind of decorations that I might want to put on it. Since it is that fall season, I am going to work with some gorgeous feathers. I want to make sure that I have the whole bundle together. And the best way to think about it is you know that this bundle is going to be facing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the feathers that have the most height in the back, and then I'm going to take the smaller feathers and kind of nestle that right in front of the bigger ones. And with a little bit of wire that comes right on that kind of bundle of feathers, I'm going to take it and wrap it all the way around. And last but not least, I want to take some of these dried flowers and thistles and pop them right in front. And in order to do that, I'm not going to need these long stems. So I am going to trim them up. And once I get those two all right where I want them, I'm going to make myself a fairly long strand. Because I'm first going to take these two and kind of bind them together with the wire. And then take that tail that I cut and use it to pull all of those stems super tight. And I think I'm just going to take one more fairly long piece and give it one more super good wrap. And twist it and bend it. And then I just want to take the rest of these feather tails that are sticking out and trim it up so I've got a great little bouquet. And I'm going to take it, and it's really easy to go back to where you started, and just kind of tuck that bundle right in between the knot and the wire. And if you need to at this point, you can take a little bit of extra wire and kind of wrap it around and secure it in place. But mine kind of fits in there oh so well. So how about that? A piece of rope, a few feathers, and you've got a great way to say, welcome home for the holidays. <laughs>